Okay, now it's time to load the upper thread. So, here's what you're gonna, and your diagram tells you step by step, one, two, three, four, which way to go. The first thing we wanna do, and I have my spool on here, and I do have my little spool holder right there. Keep it secure. So, make sure that your thread is going over the spool like that. Then, we're going to snap it in number one. Okay, make sure it gets in there good. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is come around the back of here. So, put your finger on it, come around the back of that guide, and you can feel it kind of snap into place there. It's going to lay down this channel, labeled number two, all the way down. And now we're on the front. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, you see where it's got the little U-turn with a three right here? That's gonna be our next stop. We're gonna come under that and then go up and lay it across the back of your machine. Now, there's a take-up lever in here, this little metal lever, and it's shaped like a hook. In order to get it in the right place, you're gonna need to turn your hand wheel toward you until that comes up then you can move your thread across to the left and snap it in there. If you don't feel it snap, hold your thread here and pull it towards you until you feel that little snap as it goes all the way to the front. Okay. Now, oh, and I forgot to mention, when you're doing this, make sure that your foot is up. Okay. Make sure that your presser foot is up. There are tension discs in here, and whenever the foot is down, those tension discs are closed, so the thread can't get in there. So raise your foot up, that lets them get in the tension disc, and then when you put the foot down, it closes on the thread. Okay, we're at number five down here. It's just gonna go straight down. And next is gonna be this little hook right here. So to get it in that little hook, what I do is I hold my thread horizontally then slip it right in between this upper metal bar and then the thin hook there. And if you look at it, it's shaped like a hook. It kind of goes around the needle there. Twist it so that now it's going to the back and then pull it and bring it under. Okay. Because this is a little hook and you have to go around it and then the back and then come out through the front. Then we are ready to go through the needle. Now at this point, you can let your presser foot down because you need some tension on the thread. Um, this has an automatic needle threader and sometimes these things work and sometimes they do not. We're gonna try it. You have to make sure your needle is in the uppermost position, which it should be since your take-up lever is up here. And you're going to press down all the way. Now there's a little tiny wire hook that has to go right through the eye of the needle in order for this to work. And in my experience, sometimes they go through and sometimes they don't. So you're gonna bring your thread to the left, come under the left hook, and then slide it right in the middle of those metal guides. And it didn't go through the needle, I can tell right then. So sometimes you have to kind of work with it. I think it made it that time. A lot of times I just give up and thread the needle myself, which is probably what I'm going to do here. And this is not because it's lower end. I have um, more expensive machines and it's the same problem. So if you want to, just push that thread into the needle from front to back. Pull it right through and make sure it doesn't make a loop like mine just did. You don't want that. So pull that out and try again. And be way more careful this time. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna hold it out here so it doesn't make that loop. Now, okay, it's perfectly threaded. So what we need to do now is pull up our bobbin thread, which is where we left it at the end of the first video. And it got way too long again, so I'm going to snip some of that off again. We need to pull this up 
through the presser foot. It doesn't need to be coming out of the door here. It needs to be coming out where the needle is. So what you want to do is turn your hand wheel slowly towards yourself. Hold the needle thread out to the left. Turn the hand wheel slowly and it will catch that thread. Did you see it pull up that loop right there? Then you can pull the loop and now your machine is ready to sew. Congratulations! Check back for the next video. We'll learn something else. Bye!